Well, the community is huge here at Beaver River. Um, in rural schools, there's often not a lot of activities that folks can do, and, um, and uh, the school ends up being the central point of the community. And that is clearly what it is here at Beaver River. Our, uh, you know, we have plenty of activities besides the student activities with athletics and the arts and uh, lots of uh, areas where we excel, you know, elementary activities. We also have the community come in often and just use our facility as a, as a place to either meet or work out or um, spend time um, and, uh, you know, with the school district. So uh, Beaver River is clearly one of the, the anchor points of the community. Uh, folks look, look to us to, to help out with students but also open the doors and, and uh, really have a family feel here. Hi, I'm Rebecca Dunkel King. I'm the high school principal at Beaver River, and I've been here for almost four years. Uh, Beaver River is a great place. Our facilities are fantastic. We have a brand new auditorium, and um, our music and our art departments and our band is fantastic, and they use this, uh, the new auditorium, all the time. And we have a brand new track and field. And we finally have a turf field at Beaver River, which is great because we have a huge number of students who participate in extracurricular activities. Somewhere around 70% of our students actually do some sort of activity. So it's very important for Beaver River to have state-of-the-art facilities. I'm Ms. Wanda Joslin. I'm the athletic director here at Beaver River. And uh, this is my 25th year here of teaching and my 15th year of uh, being athletic director. Um, I think our athletic programs here excel at Beaver River, not only because of our winning percentages in the Frontier League, sectional, and state level, but also because of our academics within our athletic programs. Uh, most of our teams make the Scholar Athlete list. Um, and we don't only teach winning, we teach everything for lifelong learning as well, as far as, um, you know, it, we teach the competence, the character, um, the civility and the citizenship along with um, the knowledge of learning the sport as well. Um, we have had 88 sectional titles um, from the boys from 1965 um, until the present, the last 50 years, and we've had 44 girls sectional titles. Um, we've had 15 state titles um, for boys cross country and four state titles for girls cross country. Um, We've had eight basketball sectional titles, five baseball, 20 boys track titles, 22 wrestling titles, and two football titles. For the girls, we've had four soccer titles, 12 track titles, nine volleyball, one tennis, and four basketball. Um, so I think with the 88 and 44 for girls, um, we've had quite a few sectional titles um, within those 50 years. Here at Beaver River, we have so many extracurricular activities to offer. If you are into art and music, we have the Musical Production Club and we have the Art and Theater Club that take a trip to New York City every year. If you're into sports, we have a variety of sports for you that are supported by our Booster Club. We also have a whiz quiz team that answers trivia and can get to be seen on TV. If you if you're in Spanish, you can join Spanish Club. And if you're into leadership activities, we have FCCLA and FFA for those who are in agriculture. Okay, I'm Tom Dunkel. I'm at Beaver River. Um, I'm an eighth grade and high school English teacher. I've been asked to give a little bit of a uh, culture review in regards to our school. Um, I think the culture of Beaver River is exceptional. Uh, teachers and uh, students work collaboratively together and we've been ranked number three out of 33 schools by the Business First program. That's incredible. So we want to wish everybody a great time at Deep River, so come on down and join us.